there's literally pieces of glitter all over my face. Like, hi, yes, I'm Jordan Byers, and yes, you will find glitter all over me at all times of the day. A little disclaimer before we get into this video. Um, if you know me, you know I'm very, very passionate about the products that I like and dislike. So if you are a little bit sensitive to some intense opinions, I seriously advise you to click out of this video. This is not the video for you. So the first thing that I'm going to apply on my face is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And before everybody starts flipping a poop on me, I just don't like silicone based primers. They just don't do me any good. They don't do me any good. I just don't, it feels weird. It just feels like weird on my skin. I don't like it. So I don't like this one. I mean, I know that it works for a lot of people, but for me, it's just like, <clears throat> I just don't like the feeling. It, <sighs> like, I, get this off of my hands. Okay, so now I'm going in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. And the only reason I don't like this is because it is so dang dark. Why is this so dark being shade 2? Why is your range of foundation shades so minimal? Like, what? Who is this shade of orange? Who in, who is this shade of orange? No one, no one is this shade of orange. This is not a natural skin tone color. I feel like it just gets darker the longer that it's on my skin. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the coverage is pretty darn good. But who is orange? I'm literally not, like, look it, look it. This is my natural skin tone, white. Pale paper white. Who is this color of orange? Donald Trump? No. Not even Donald Trump is this orange. What the heck? I look like... <laughs> Just call me Cheeto from now on. So now I'm going to go in with this Morphe concealer in the color Sand. This stuff literally sinks into every single pore on your face after an hour or so of wearing. So it'll probably look fine for now, but let me tell you, it's not gonna look too cute after a while, okay? It's not. What is going on here? What is actually going on? What is going on? Like, who is she? Who? Is she? Cause I don't know her. I don't want to know her either. <sighs> so now I'm going to put on this Model Co contour stick and I got this in a subscription box. Literally orange brown. Orange brown. It's so gross. Like, hi who? Where, where did you come from? Cause you need to go back. Who is she? So this is a little contour from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Havana. And it just was way too warm toned for me. It looks absolutely awful on my skin. So I'm just going to set that cream contour with some of this. I'm sorry, who is this color? Who wants their contour to be this warm toned? I mean, maybe people with warm toned skin, but I have like cool toned skin, so this contour just literally looks like somebody smeared some dang like red colored dirt, reddy brown dirt on my face. I literally look like a chipmunk or something. I look like some type of animal and it's like creeping me out. I kind of feel sad inside. I feel very sad. Okay, so I have two powders here that I absolutely despise. This is the Milani Prep Set and Go Transparent Face Powder, and this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Smooth Operator Finishing Powder. Both of them have the absolute worst flashback in the history of flashback. 
and they literally like it looks absolutely awful so I'm going to bake with the Amazonian clay one and then I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the Milani one <coughs> oh this just feels disgusting I just want to take a shower <coughs> I'm not gonna let this bake for too long just because like I just can feel my skin drying and like crusting so now I'm just gonna oh see also the thing with this powder is it makes you paler too like look at that literally also making me paler what is <coughs> I'm crusting I'm literally crusting Literally look I already took off my bake look at this look at this flashback I'm so embarrassed that this is a real thing and I used to like wear this powder on the daily thinking that it was like so poor minimizing but little did I know I looked like a freaking piece of paper with like some strange disease happening underneath my eyes Ugh. Okay, so now I'm going to put on some highlight. And if you know me, you know I am a highlight fanatic. But this shade of highlight just... No, 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 no. So I love Becca highlights, but this color is just not for me. This is the rose gold highlight. And honey, this is not for somebody that is as white as paper. It... I'm just gonna apply it how I normally would, okay? First of all, it's not even going on my skin. Why is it not going on my skin? Why is it not going on to my skin? I'm very confused. Can we just see like what a patchy mess my face is right now? What is going on? I'm so confused. Okay, I think I'm thinking since I put that tart powder on it, it's it's literally not going to allow this highlight to go on. So I'm just gonna have to spray my brush and try it this way. Okay, no, it's literally not. It's not sticking. It's like just. I literally applied this six times. Where is the glow? Can we see any glow? No, what is going on? Okay, so now I'm gonna blush. I'm using the Milani Baked Blush in the color Coralina. Um, listen, I'm a heavy-handed person, as you know, with my highlight. Literally clean brush. I'm gonna do, like, one tap. Why is it so dang pigmented? Like, I just want... And it's like patchy, like, can we see? I'm just trying to get like a cute little natural blush going, but it's like, it's like, hi, I don't wanna be cute. I don't wanna be cute on you. I'll be cute on everybody else except you. So I'm gonna use this NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. And this is obviously not the right color. I pretty much use this only when I would wear my blonde wig but y'all this stuff like literally doesn't go on to like the skin to tint it it just clumps up in your eyebrow so it just looks like a mess it just looks so bad I don't know if you can see on the camera but it's literally just like clumping up in my eyebrow like sorry who where I don't know her. Anyways, here I have the Michelle Fawn palette, the Life palette. I don't know, this is like the party one, party life palette. It's literally children's makeup. Like this stuff, the shadows are like comparable to children's eyeshadows. And then I have the Too Faced side of the Kat Von D X Too Faced collaboration. At first I thought I liked this, but then it was just like a no-go for me. First of all, the colors like, they're just weird colors for a palette like to go together. I just, I'm gonna use this brown color right here and this, it's so patchy, it's so not pigmented. It's just atrocious, atrocious. It is atrocious as we can see. 
Luckily, there are some shades in this palette that are pigmented and not patchy. So I'm gonna try to fix this with that shade right there, but. So now I'm putting this light purple shade on my lid and it just like, I'm sorry, where's the pigment? Okay, so now going on to an eyeliner that is so sad. I have the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner and this is the charcoal one. I got this in a beauty subscription box, but at first I was like, okay, cool, like a great eyeliner. And then I actually tried wearing it and it was just, let's just say it was the heck so I don't know if you can see on camera but to me it just like it's like super chunky to apply it's just not a cute look so then I'm going to put on this mascara uh, this is the Maybelline Big Shot the colossal Big Shot this stuff does not do a single thing it does not do a single thing and I'm not hating on makeup by Shayna Shayla or Manny at all because they represent this mascara I'm just saying like the actual mascara is absolute crap Let, let's just I'm just gonna show you like my lashes can get decently long and pretty but this literally it does nothing it does nothing I don't know if it's the formula, obviously I'm getting it like everywhere. I don't know if it's the formula or like what, but they just look like chubs. They look like nugget chubs on my eyes and it's not a cute look to me. It doesn't lengthen, it doesn't like lift, it just, it looks like nugget chubs. Okay, that's, that's my explanation for it, nugget chubs. Okay, so I'm going to finish off this beautiful makeup look with some lips. And the first thing I'm going to put on is this Milk Makeup Lip Marker. And what is the color? I guess there's no color, but it's literally like a Sharpie highlighter. Tell me how somebody is supposed to apply something on their lips with a literal highlight marker. Yeah, I can't I can't even finish it. So, here's what I'm going to do. My last thing that I absolutely hate is this Smashbox Instamat lipstick transformer. So, basically what it does is it it will make any lipstick that you have instantly turn matte. Uh, that is not the case for me. This stuff literally turns my lipstick and my lips it just like turns into like jello and like chunks on my lips and it looks absolutely atrocious. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a lipstick that I actually like and this is the Estee Lauder Soft Amethyst Lipstick and then I'm going to put this on top of a really nice quality lipstick to show you how crap this is. So now I'm just going to apply this over top and show you the chunky mess. So as you can see, this it did turn it somewhat matte but it's literally like chunks on my lips. It's like slimy. It feels like jello slime. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know if you liked this video by showing me with a big ol' thumb, th <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> and subscribe down below to become part of the hashtag Joby Squad. Uh, follow me on my other social medias to keep up with me and my crazy life. And I will see you in the next video. I literally, I pass as an actual troll now, an Oompa Loompa troll. Bye guys. Ugh, this is disgusting. I'm taking this off in the shower. Ew.